Always great to have consumer savings experts Regina Novakis joining us. Great to have you back on Thank the show. Thank you for having me. And there was an interesting line that I saw. It was about saving $1,000 per year online. Yes, simply by using the internet. And, and, and the thing is, is that you actually broke it down and I could see where the savings were actually happening. So it, it's amazing to see. Well, it's a quick way and most people don't even have to make any sort of major lifestyle adjustments. It's just things that you may be overlooking in your budget that you can actually eliminate by doing these things online. Okay, where do you want to start? So the first thing is just simply paying your bills online. About $47 a year, which doesn't sound like a huge amount, but why spend that money? by simply using your online banking services. So you save on the shipping fees or postage fees, you sh save on the envelopes, all of that, easy enough to do, easy to track online, all done for you, $47 right there. Okay, so that's starting to add up. Where do you want to step two? Step two is travel savings. So if you go to sites like coupons.ca, you can find travel savings for everything from rental cars to airport parking, anything that you're doing, especially now with spring break travel coming up, it's a great time of year to save. So you go to the coupon sites, and find those deals. Anytime that you get to the retailer's checkout page and you see that box that says enter a coupon code, look for that code first. Essentially that could come down to flights, to tickets, to rentals, to get everything. everything. It's about $300 per trip on average. Everything just even looking from site to site for flight comparisons, that can be $200 right there. The rental car savings is an area where you can find huge savings with the codes, about 35% off on those, $300 right there that you can save on just one trip. Okay, so now we're at around $350, yes. let's continue on. <laughs> okay, so the next thing is shipping fees. And this is a big one where you know you think that you'd have to send a gift to somebody. Instead of getting that shipped to you or going to the mall and buying that for yourself and then having to ship it, get it shipped directly to the recipient. Most places have gift cards or anything that you can include in there. And you can find codes for free shipping on sites like coupons.ca. Save about $60 just in shipping alone over the course of the year. And then another $150 in gas saved from the mall, saved from having to go to the post office. The one thing I found interesting is I'm starting to see a lot more emails coming in where companies are offering free shipping. They realize that that's, that's an incentive for a lot of people. That is a huge incentive. About 93% of merchants over the holiday season were actually offering free shipping deals because what they realize is that that's a barrier for people to shop mm -hmm. online. But you can still find those great prices online and now you're getting that free shipping on top of it. Okay, entertainment. That's another big thing. Entertainment is a huge one. Canadians on average go to the movies about four times per year, which doesn't sound big, but when you average out for a family of four, that can be $60 per visit. If you just simply stream those movies online, that's about $240 in savings a year instead of going to the movies. Save that for a special occasion, but you don't need to do that on every single movie. And it's funny to see because you start to hear that more into conversations and getting that through Netflix or, you know, it's starting to become a lot more common practice. It is a lot more common practice, you know, simply from just the movie ticket prices to the concession prices. It gets to be very, very pricey. So you can see those movies, unless it's a huge blockbuster that you want to make into a family event, save that in your budget, stream it online and use those services like Netflix. And was there one more thing that I'm missing? There is gift cards actually, you can buy gift cards online at a discounted price. So this is not something that, you know, normally people think gift cards, I have to give that to somebody. Use this as currency for yourself. You can buy them on eBay, you can buy them at cardswap.ca and basically find things like coffee, fuel, anything that you're buying on your basics, you can find up to on average about 8% savings, but up to 25% savings. So $81 to $189, depending on what you're shopping for, use those gift cards as currency. Yeah, I would never have thought to just get the gift cards and use them for my... I've definitely started doing myself. that. And you know, some people get worried about what's the guarantee. Most of these sites have about a 45 day guarantee. So don't buy something that's so expensive that you won't necessarily use that card mm -hmm. right away because you do want to make sure you get that protection package included but use it for your coffee and your fuel and you'll save some extra money right there. Amazing right there. Coupons.ca, the best bet. Uh, it pretty much breaks everything down for you once you head on. Everything that you, anything that you're saving for. I mean, these travel and free shipping, but also anything that you're shopping for. Shoes, online services, it's all right there for you. Regina, always a pleasure to have you on the show. Thank you so Thanks much. Thanks a lot. Coupons.ca if you're looking for more information.